Hello, hello, konnichiwa. This is It's Volnananko, and we are back with Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. Prologue part 6. Wow, where are we at? Episode 6. Okay, and we last left off talking to this lovely man. Gosh, I, I can't. Editing that video was so awkward. But you know, it, it's okay. So, uh, where should we go next? Let's check out the warehouse quickly. Or, not the warehouse, the school store. I guess this doesn't open. Let's look somewhere else. Okay. Oh, the most magical store in the entire game. Anyway, let's- oh, I really need to hesitate before going in here, but we have to do it. Hello there. Is this a warehouse? It's pretty big. Yeah, this is huge. It's like a whole Walmart's worth of supplies for free. I guess it is it really free since, you know, you're trapped in this kind of situation. Boy, look at that. You have everything except for gloves. Okay, map. These mats are pretty heavy. It must be a lot of work to carry these to the gym. RC helicopter. A remote controlled helicopter. What's this doing in a school warehouse? Ah, uh, well, it's here so that Mew can have some fun making and stuff like that. A shopping ball for track and field? Does this place even have a sports stadium? That'd be pretty cool. Another cool uh, mini game. Oh, I would love to see like a Wii Sports type game with, or mini game with all the Danganronpa characters, like from the whole trilogy, even UDG, just playing sports against each other. That'd be, that'd make my game. Ooh, we gotta get some points. It's really hard to see stuff in here, and it's pretty dark. But either way, there's still lots of stuff that we can gather. Is that everything? Hurdle. Oh, okay. I thought that that was something that you can throw. Or, like, get rid of. I'm... These are hurdles, too. We could hold our own track and field meet with all this equipment. Do we, we don't have that many, like, sporty stuff. Um, ultimate talents here. Like, we have, uh, Tenko. But other than that, there's- or Tenko and Ryoma, I guess. I can't think of any other really sports-related talents off the top of my head from this cast, from D3. What do you have to say, Shichi? Yeah. And this warehouse is huge. It must be difficult to find anything. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, like, I- uh, I would hope that they have labels and stuff, because it does seem pretty difficult to find anything. Mew. Oh no. Uh, get ready for my horrible censoring. Damn it, where the heck is it? We saw a conspicuous girl rummaging through a shelf filled with different chemicals. Hey, what are you looking for? Don't sneak up on me, bae. I literally just met you, and you've already called me a mmm. Anosa. Hey, I'm sorry if we surprised you, but you shouldn't talk to Kaede like. Aw, Shuji is such a gentleman. Standing up for Kaede. Oi. Hey, girl, draw. You staring at my dick? Uh. What? <laughs> How about we have this kind of conversation with the most peaceful, nice music? help you solve a guy like you can only dream of landing, landing a big bobble hottie like me i'm sorry go on get yourself a good eyeful N no i wasn't staring my eyes just happened to look there come on shuichi you can do better than that you're gonna have to learn to lie at some point hey, Oh, my eyes just happened to look there. Oh, my ha hand just happened to... Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I can identify pervs on sight, and you are definitely a, a perv. 
You know, I really wish that I didn't have to censor everything. That'd be way more easy and fun. But, you know, I, I don't want to say anything to that. That's why you wear that hat, right? To hide your skeevy eyes. And that's why you wear those pants, right? To hide your nasty legs. Shuichi has lovely legs. Probably. I don't know. Everyone wears pants, though. <laughs> Everyone knows only pervs wear hats. Ooh, I feel like people don't give this for enough credit. It looks so cool. I almost said a bad word. It looks like really nice though and like sleek and now you can tell Shuichi's mad. Stop it. <laughs> Leave me alone. I can wear a hat if I want to. Yeah, and I now you can see what kind of person you truly is. What what the heck are you getting pissed off at me for? Tell the world you're sorry. If you throw me into losing motivation, that loss will be felt across the whole world. Nah. I like how her hair is really squiggly. A lot of her sprites remind me of like makes me think that um, her hair is like a squid. Hey, your vocal language is uncalled for. Just who are you anyway? Huh? S seriously? You don't know who I am? <laughs> I really like Mio's introduction, I think. The ultimate inventor herself, Mew Iruma. I feel like in, a lot of people talk about this too, but like in the English version, um, she kind of says her name really quickly. So it sounds like, like Mew instead of Mew. You know, it's, it's hard to tell, but like there's a small difference of like, it sounds like they're getting rid of the eye. Anyway, Mew Iruma's voice actress is Wendy Lee who previously voiced Akane Owari in DR2. So you can kind of tell the similarity between their characters, especially with appearance. <laughs> and the Japanese voice actress is Haruka Ishida. The ultimate inventor. That's a really nice talent to have. And I also really like uh, Mew's design. I mean, it's hard to say that, but like, I, I like the pink. Um, pink and like baby blue, dusty blue, um, school uniform. I think that looks nice. And like the little cute pin on her, um, in her neck. Very adorable. Um, I've never heard of you. Ooh, burn. So, what kinds of things do you invent? Mm. I make all, ta all kinds of gadgets. Ones that let you type while you sleep, Read while you sleep. This is another nice sprite, like uh, her mouth. That's so swervy, like Himiko. Even once I let you eat while you sleep. <laughs> Why does everything involve sleeping? Oh. I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> no, this one time I'm, I invented these really stupid eye drop contact lenses as a gag. <gasps> Wait, really? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. The eye drop contact lenses would be great. Like you just spur um, like a liquid in your eyes and then you can see. That, that would be great. Why don't we have that in real life? Someone please make that. But make sure it's like safe and nice and all that. Psh, your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. It doesn't make you more productive while you sleep. So it was a failure, just like you two. I signed the patent rights over to some company and never looked back. That seems like a waste. It's all, it's better than your, it's way better than your do stuff while sleeping inventions. What do you mean? It would be great to do all those things while sleeping. Like you can type while you sleep, you can finish so many essays. That'd be great. But I feel like your mind wouldn't get the proper rest it needs. But still, like come on. By the way, what were you looking for earlier? You sounded pretty desperate to find it. Huh? Are, are you dumb? 
in a situation like this, I gotta find some meds. <laughs> Medicine? Are you hurt or feeling sick? Oh, Kaede, you're, you're so wholesome and clueless. No, idiot. I need some meds because I want to trip... Mm, I want to... Painkillers. Ah! Oh, I just want to set my mind free and forget about this situation. Uh, Wait, what? You can't use drugs to get high. You definitely shouldn't do that. What the heck? My genius can't be constrained by the wisdom of the masses. Besides, this place probably doesn't even have the stuff I need to get loosey-goosey. So, are we cool? Are you done being mad at me? <laughs> they say there's a fine line between genius and insanity, but she's definitely beyond insane. You got that right, Kaede. Obtain friendship fragment. Yi's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Great. <sighs> What's up with Shuichi? He's been quiet ever since me mentioned his hat. Does he not like to talk about it? Aww, poor Shuichi. I feel so bad for him. Huh? Ah, leave me alone, I'm busy. Okay, move on. Uh, oh. He's quiet now. Maybe he doesn't like it when people talk about his hat. Aww. Oh, Shuiji. Anyway, I think. Oh, high jump bar. This looks like a high jump pool for track and field. I didn't expect to see professional equipment like this here. Okay, well, I guess we'll leave. I'm just gonna quickly talk to uh, Rontaro and Smoothie just to see if they have anything else to say. Like, after you finish talking to them? I know it's probably nothing. Probably just repeated text. To you call. But I would at least like to remember my talent by the time we get out of here. In island mode, you do- or not island mode. In the- uh, like the reality TV mode. I forget what it's called. Salmon mode? Something like that, yeah. <laughs> you do remember at the end. Aw. Looks like we've got plenty of time. Otta. Oops, sorry. Shouldn't jinx it. Aw. Uh, that's right. You better not. <laughs> oh, I, oh, wait, where are you from? Oh. <laughs> that's always weird that like, you just walk right into them. Just quickly go up. Hopefully my frame rates aren't horrible again. They were pretty okay in the last episode, at least I think. Oh, uh, I've never seen the dragon statue from like this angle. That looks cool. Yeah, you can see the one eye is missing. Cool. Okay. Huh? Yeah, being depressed won't help anything. It's plain to see the next con is coming up. <laughs> uh, not with what's happening now. Uh, that's right. What am I gonna do if I don't finish my outfit in time? I wonder what her outfit is. That's cool. I didn't know she could say something like that. Anyway, I think that that's it for this episode. Yep, yeah, sorry it's short again, but we have to get going. So I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you all in the next episode. Bye!